clutching a six gun in his hand. Shot from behind, I thought he was dead, for under his heart was an ounce of lead, but a spark still burned, and I used my knife. Late that night, I saved the life of Ringo. Ringo. The danger passed, the days went by, he met it fast. Then from dawn to setting sun, he practiced with that deadly gun. An hour and hour I watched and all. No human being could match the draw of Ringo. Ringo. One day we rode the mountain crest. I went east, he went west. I took to Lon for his star, while he spread tear near and far. With lead and blood he gained such fame throughout the West. They feared the name of Ringo, Ringo, Ringo. I knew someday I'd face the test, which one of us would be the best. And sure enough, the word came down that he was holed up in the town. I left the posse in the street. I went in alone to meet Ringo. Ringo. They said my speed was next to none, that my lightning draw had just begun. When I heard a blast that stung my wrist, the gun went flying from my fist, and I was looking down the bore of the deadly forty-four of Ringo. Ringo. That was the only time that anyone had seen him smile. He slowly lowered his gun and then said to me, we're even friend. And so at last I understood that there was still a spark of good in Ringo. Ringo. I blocked the path of his retreat. He turned and stepped into the street. A dozen guns spit fire and lead. A moment later, he lay dead. The town began to shout and cheer. Nowhere was there shed a tear for Ringo. Ringo. The story spread throughout the land that I had beaten Ringo's hand. And it was just the years, they say, that made me put my guns away. But on his grave, they can't explain the tarnished star above the name of Ringo. Ringo, Ringo, Ringo. 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 Ringo.